Good morning, folks. We've got some new free resources for you over at suspiciousobservers.org. Stick around. We'll go over those at the end of the show. But let's get right to it now over at spaceweathernews.com. We're finding yet another calm day on the Earth-facing disk. Fairly large coronal hole present at the moment. Bright regions incoming with it are the sunspots. We don't have any solar flare activity, though, as the sunspots are calm. They have decent size and core depth on the Doppler gram, but it is a negative dominant active region, and without changing that, these are likely to remain quiet. Behind the sunspots at the limb, there are a number of plasma filaments seen above the solar surface. It appears that most of those in the area are anchored to the southern hemisphere of our star. Solar wind, still calm, still no coronal hole stream, and still no geomagnetic storms as the next coronal hole begins to face Earth today and into next week, right as those CMEs should be coupling. We do expect bigger earthquakes within 36 hours. And speaking of earthquakes, Earth and Planetary Science Letters has three new papers available, and they're all relevant. First, here they're discussing a deep earthquake near Japan, a blood echo, one that was deeper than the earthquake floor at the transition zone, or at least right up against it, up next is California and the San Andreas Fault. Turns out the moon and the tides play a much bigger role in seismic activity nearby than was previously believed. And lastly, can't believe they actually put this one out, argument for blot echo nucleation within olivine wedges. If you've been paying close attention this year and were to Google olivine conductivity, electricity, heat, pressure, you might have to chuckle at how much of an aha moment you've just had. From aha to ah uh, crap. We had the snow, we had the flash flooding, more is on the way. But now, add in the chance for lightning, hail, and perhaps even extreme winds and storm conditions. Travel has been snarled, the storms have turned deadly already, and tonight the convergence energy shifts out of New Mexico and into Texas. You can see the intensification as she goes. Eyes open, central state says, that's going to be a weird January event. In Europe... Low cell off Italy will expand and have effects across the Mediterranean and even northwest at the Franco-Spanish border, where the cold will be coming down. Be sure to check out QuakeWatch.net and the information there. If it's been a while, you'll find that there is a lot more than you saw before. Folks, there are three pages that everyone now has access to over at SuspiciousObservers.org. First, suspiciousobservers.org slash blot. That's B-L-O-T. The introductory page has been made public so we can all get on the same page about what's happening beneath our feet. Up next, that's right, Starwater. Indeed, Starwater has now been made a public page. The series grew into quite the excursion after the original three episodes in 2013. Last but not least, a premium preview. For years, there have been people asking to see some of the premium content first to see if they'd like it and want to become a member. Well, we've got Deeper Looks, a Fly on the Wall podcast, talks from the conference, and one of the foundational Earth Spots videos. All three pages are linked for you here. We've got Pressure and Radar Forecast now, followed by Shots of Our Star to Close. It's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.